Great Polar Cyclone, Bangladesh, 1970. Hooghly River Cyclone, India and Bangladesh, 1737. Haiphong Typhoon, Vietnam, 1881. Have you ever heard about these deadly storms? Yes. These storms top the list of the most deadly and severe storms in the world, which took thousands of lives in just a few moments. Why are we discussing these? Just think. If these storms were that devastating, then what the red storm before judgment that is due to arrive will do to this earth? We believe as well as knowing that judgment day will certainly occur. But its day is not known to us because judgment day will suddenly occur. However, the last prophet of Allah Almighty has stated some signs of the judgment day in his ahadiths for his ummah. And one of the ahadith is as follows. The Holy Prophet said, there will come a time when people will make spoils, their own wealth, trust, spoils and zakah, a ransom. They will learn knowledge for a purpose other than the religion. Man will obey his wife and disobey his mother. He will let his friend close to him but will abandon his father. Voices will be raised in masjid and the chief of the tribe will be a sinner amongst them and the leader of the nation will be the most despicable person of the nation. A man will be honoured in fear of his evil and female singers and musical instruments will be publicised everywhere. People will start consuming various types of alcohol. When all of this happens, then at that time, you should anticipate a red wind. It means strong winds of red colour will blow before Judgment Day. And the points which we're listening, it seems as if most of them occur daily among us. Today's topic in our web series, The Signs of Judgment Day, is the same, that is, the Red Wind. What is the Red Wind? When will it occur? Or has it occurred? Before I reveal all of these facts, let me share a parable with you. Before our Ummah as well, the people of Ab were afflicted with a dangerous, strong and violent wind. Its incident is also mentioned in the Holy Quran. This nation used to live in the valley of Akhaf which was a vast desert between Oman and Hadramaut, a city in Yemen. This people used to worship a false god and were evil doers and had a bad character. They were indulged in evil deeds. Allah Almighty sent his prophet Hud, peace be upon him, for their guidance, but the people belied Hud, peace be upon him, and remained persistent in their disbelief. Hud kept warning them of torment and punishment of Allah Almighty. But what the mischievous nation quite audaciously, disrespectfully and arrogantly replied to the Prophet? Let's listen from the Holy Quran. Allah Almighty states in the Holy Quran, Have you come to us in order that we worship only one Allah and abandon those whom our ancestors worshipped? So bring upon us what you promise us, if you are truthful. They were asking their Prophet to bring them torment. If you are truthful, then where is the punishment? They were so audacious. Then what happened? The glimpses of the divine torment started. Firstly, it didn't rain for three years. Famine and drought prevailed everywhere. The people pined for a single drop of water and grain. It was a tradition of that time that when a calamity was inflicted, the people used to go to Mecca and prayed inside Kaaba. It was such an odd nation who used to believe in Kaaba but didn't believe in Allah's Prophet. Anyway, they used to go to Kaaba and prayed and the calamities and the problems would be removed. Hence, some people went to the Holy Makkah together. Among them was a person named Marsad ibn Saad, who was a believer but had hidden his faith from the people. When the people started praying in the Holy Kaaba, Marsad ibn Saad's passion of faith arose. He vehemently said, Oh my people, even if you pray hundreds of thousands of times, by Allah, it will not rain until you embrace faith in your Prophet Hud, peace be upon him. When Marsad ibn Saad revealed his faith, the mischievous ones from the people of Ad beat and separated him, and then again began to pray. Can we seek anything from the Lord after displeasing his pious people? At that time, Allah Almighty sent three big clouds, one white, one red and one black. Along with this, a voice was heard from heaven. O people of Ad! You can choose any of the three clouds for your nation. The people chose the black cloud and they were confident that now plenty of water would shower from a black cloud and it would rain heavily and all of our fields will turn lush green again. And as soon as they chose the black cloud, 
it started to move towards the population of the people of Ad. Everybody was ready for a heavy rain. Hud, peace be upon him, said, O oh, my people, look, the divine torment is proceeding towards you, but yet the unfortunate ones belied the prophet. Then the torment starts. Suddenly a wind blew from that cloud, an extremely strong wind, which was so strong that it blew away the camels along with their riders and dashed them far and wide. It uprooted huge trees. Looking at this, the people of Ad got into their palaces made of stones, and then they shut their doors. Now they thought that the wind was so strong, but they had stone houses which were quite sturdy so nothing would happen to them. But it was not a normal wind, it was a torment of Allah Almighty. It pulled out the doors and blew them away, and each and every house was destroyed completely. The wind continuously kept blowing for seven days and seven nights, and all of the people of Ard died. When the wind ended, the corpses of the people were scattered on the ground in such a way as palm trees are uprooted and scattered on the ground. Then, by the divine omnipotence, a large flock of black birds came, which picked up the corpses and dropped them into the sea. Huth, peace be upon him, abandoned that village and went to Makkah together with some believers, and kept worshipping Allah Almighty till the end of his time. What scholars have decided whether this sign has occurred or is it still to occur? In the hadith, which we told you in the beginning, the point which the Holy Prophet stated that when these facts occur, then you should fear the red wind. So, these things are happening in our society. Today we can see all of those dirty activities and evil deeds in our surrounding. We must fear the torment of Allah Almighty. Just look at the people of Ard. By cutting and carving huge mountains, they had built separate houses for summer and winter. They were quite confident and proud of their majority and power, but because of evil deeds and sins, they were afflicted with a divine wrath in such a manner that the dangerous gusts and jerks of wind shook the entire population. So what would happen to the weak people like us? Can we endure the divine torment? So, those to whom the safety and survival of theirs, as well as their generation is beloved, must always refrain from disobeying Allah Almighty. They should keep performing good and pious deeds, as per their efforts and strength, or else Allah Almighty's torment is a fact. If we talk about this Ummah, then many times strong and extreme winds have occurred before. Many people have been killed and huge losses incurred. In 232 AH, a toxic wind blew in Kufa and Basra, which blew up to Hamadan and Mosul. All the fields burned to ash. That wind kept blowing for 50 days. Then in 288 AH as well, a wind blew in Basra which was red at first, then it turned green and then black. Then during the caliphate of the caliph Mustazhar Billah, such a black wind blew that everything turned pitch dark. Similarly in 524 AH, a cloud appeared in Mosul which was showering fire. In Baghdad, flying scorpions rained down which destroyed and ruined thousands of people. After this in 596 AH, a black wind blew in Makkah, because of which red sand spread everywhere. It broke a part of Rukn e Yamani of the Holy Kaaba. Apart from this, many such incidents are mentioned in books. The signs of red wind has occurred, but as Judgment Day gets closer and closer, further signs will take place as well. Remember us in your prayers, keep sharing our videos and also subscribe to our channel.